there's pros and cons to that, but within that, it's just understanding what part of you do you need in that moment. And I think the biggest thing I learned uh, was learning how to say no. You talked about you wore your same clothes and what was good for you and and how you acted. And for me, it was like when I'd be with someone and they'd be like, let's go do this. And I actually didn't want to do it. The old Andre would be like, yeah, let's do it. And then you get in trouble and then you go home and you're like, Frick, I can't believe I did that. And you're laying in bed. But I got really good at saying no. Being like, I, I don't actually want to do that. I don't want to set this dumpster on fire. I don't want to pick on this kid. I don't want to spend my money on this, these pairs of shoes. And like, it just became the power of no became like, um, such an asset to how I lived my life. And then in turn, the power of yes took over. It's like, I don't want to do that, but I actually just want to do this. And then when you follow that natural intuition, I'm sure, I don't mean, know, some call it cosmic consciousness, some call it your own consciousness, the id, the ego, that balance between that. Um, and ultimately, you know exactly what you want to do in the moment that, some, that an opportunity arises and it's just listening to when it pops up. So if I want to say like, do, are you having fun right now? You have an answer right there, as soon as, right there. It just came up. And yes. the answer is either yes or no. Yeah, it's yes or no. Well, it better be yes. Um, and it's like anytime you're posed with a question like that, you already know the answer before something comes out. And it's whether or not are you listening to that or are you denying that? And that becomes the question with whether you're living your truth. Well, truth in quotations. But so that was one of the things I had to realize is like, I already know the answer as soon as the question is asked. The question becomes now, do I want to follow the answer? Or do I want to just not? So, and how did you how did you find that? How do you move that from? Because uh, I think that there's a there's a dynamic between the yes and no in habit. And there was a there was a study I was reading uh, a few months ago, and in it, people that people that put their lives on the line to save someone, so running into a burning building or diving into a fast river to save someone else. It wasn't a conscious decision. It was a habit. And these people also tended to be truthful more often than not. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's an interesting dynamic of habit there where you have to form this habit. And, and how did you, how did you develop that? How did you um, find your no? Yeah, it started with meditation. Um, and meditation was just kind of, I had a very overactive brain and I wasn't trying to silence it. I was just trying to understand it. Like I was like, why am I always thinking about this? You're in a crowd of people, you can feel other people's energy. You can tell when they're upset. And I'm like, why do I have this gift or this curse, whatever you wanted to look at it as? And it came down to meditation was my idea, going back to the OCD at the beginning of this conversation, my way of like sorting things into the sections that they needed to be in in order for me to thrive. And so I was like, what is this happening? Is this happening because of this? Yes. Okay. Put it with that. And then once you kind of sifted through all of it, it was just like this, like, oh, moment. And you're like, I can do anything. Um, and the hard part was, or the funny part is you will always lose if you choose the wrong direction. Always, 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 whether it's immediately, um, or later, hence karma. Um, but you will always, always lose if you choose the wrong way. But if you choose the path that you actually are meant to be on, so in the moments when you say the answer what you want and do what it actually says, um, you will always win. And, and what I mean by win is like, there's this, it, there's this balance between effort and ease. It's like you're doing the work and it's actually, you're seeing a product. You're seeing something come of it. And then there's also doing the work and then you fail and it's just a matter of understanding why you're succeeding and why you're not succeeding and almost always you're succeeding because you're being truth to your, truthful to yourself and so i'm not shocked that those people were more honest truthful people when it came down to that because they're constantly making decisions in their head which i guess can be formed into a habit uh, the more you choose a certain direction um and yeah so i completely agree my personal experiences directly correlated to that.